Hello guys and welcome back to another Roblox video. Now in today's video guys we're going to be checking out the Roblox Connect phone call update. I don't know it's a bit weird. It's kind of like Skype or Discord but on Roblox. In a way I think it's kind of pointless but there's quite a lot of hype about this now so I thought I might as well show you guys how to get it working. It's pretty interesting. Um, it's pretty random. It's also a bit dodgy. But yeah check out this anyway. I'll just play this video for you while I'm reading it. It says today we're launching Roblox Connect. A technology and a enabling 13 plus users to connect one on one in a shared environment. We can't wait to see how creators will implement it with their experiences. So yeah, it's kind of like a Roblox phone call kind of thing. They say like they're expecting creators to like implement this. I really don't think anyone is going to. It's kind of weird um, how they've got it set up, which I'll show you in a second. Yeah, let me show you how to get this working actually. There's also a post about it over on the developer forum. I'll link this down below because they link the game you need to join. So right now it's in like an early stage. You need to join the game to get it working it's you know like a beta access kind of thing but yeah it's um it's definitely a bit weird and let me show you how you can do it so for starters guys your roblox accounts must be 13 plus if it's under 13 well you can't do this you might have to make a new alt account or something next guys i'd recommend going up to your settings then going on privacy i would recommend having voice chat set up on your account so as you can see here microphone and camera input use microphone to chat with voice so i've turned that on and also use camera to animate your avatar with your movement. I also turn that on because it does require like a webcam and a microphone to make it work like properly, right? The next thing you can do to make this work really well, if you go into head and body over on your avatar editor and you just go into heads, Roblox intended us to use this with like dynamic heads, the ones that like, you know, move when you're speaking and moving about. So you could choose one of these if you want to. My avatar is wearing a mask, so it's kind of pointless. So I'll put one on my alt account when I go and call him in a second. But yeah, if you want to use one of these, you can go ahead. You might have some that are free because Roblox like did the free like faces update where they took the old ones off sale and gave you like the new dynamic ones for free. So yeah, check out your inventory. You might have some already. And once you've done all of those things, you want to play this game. So Roblox Connect. I guess some other Roblox games are probably starting to implement this, but so far it only seems to be this one. It's got reasonable likes and dislikes. Yeah, that's not too bad actually. So I'll tell you what, we'll jump into a game and I'll show you how to get it working very quickly. So here we are inside of a game, guys. As you can see, the game looks a bit strange just got my avatar here got the microphone and camera option at the top which i'm not going to turn on just yet but basically what you can do guys is you can go on call a friend and if you go and click on this it should give me the option to go and call my old account so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to go and call it now it's going to start calling i think on my phone um it should actually pop up saying i'm calling sometimes it's a bit glitchy though okay it doesn't seem to be working i'll tell you what what i'm going to do is go on my phone and i'm actually going to call my shark blocks account oh there you go it actually works i don't know why sometimes it doesn't work the other way around but whatever i'm gonna go and answer this phone call and it's gonna teleport both of us into this random forest game as you can see i got the error because i don't have my dynamic head or anything but basically yeah on my phone and um, on my pc i'm moving my head about and you can pretty much see my avatar so it's kind of weird you know oh wait i think my voice is actually coming through so oh how do i turn that off oh there you go i disabled it on my phone because otherwise that's going to be a bit annoying but yeah you guys get it it's um it's uh interesting i can't really imagine anybody using this at all hang on let me put my phone next to my webcam so it doesn't glitch up so much but yeah you can move your phone about and stuff like that and it does look random so there you go that's how it works and um yeah honestly i can't really see this being too popular because the thing is right if you want to call your friends or something like that you can just call them on the normal phone like with me right if i call my friends and i say like hey want to go and check out some like creepy old abandoned world war ii bunker or something i'll just give my friend a phone call or just call him on like instagram or whatever i wouldn't even bother doing it through roblox i don't know it just seems a bit pointless but yeah anyway the roblox phone call update it's really hard for me to demonstrate this because i'm looking at my phone and my webcam on my pc and when i look at different stuff it just like completely bugs out but yeah you guys get the idea it's um <laughs> it's kind of pointless um i just put my phone down for a sec there's a few other options what does that do oh is that where you can like clap and stuff oh, okay i get it so i should be able to do that on my phone as well and does that work oh there you go so you've got like a navigation thing oh you can change locations oh, i see and then i've got to accept it on my phone right that makes sense so there you go you can go to the dock if you want to but who cares right and what's this one here free play oh is that so you can walk around oh that's a bit better isn't it yeah there you go that's a bit better and we had cinematic as well oh these are just different views yeah that's kind of creepy and then the normal picture ones so um yeah that's basically all there is to it really you can talk to your friends you can move your head around with your webcam and stuff i don't know about you guys it just seems like a feature that nobody would really 
really use. These are all the locations uh, if you're curious. So um, there's a few on there, Forest or Island, um, pretty much all the same thing really. I was honestly trying to think though, what kind of dev would add this to their game? Like it just wouldn't really fit in at all. The only person I could imagine adding this was that dodgy bloke that made the Roblox Tinder game. I bet he would love an update like this. Yeah, I agree with this person actually, this person called Lorne. They said, well, this is weird. I'd like to make it clear that no self-respecting developer has ever asked for this and it doesn't add anything to the platform. For us as developers, there is literally not one reason to add calls. It takes away from the gameplay and doesn't create extra socialization. In my eyes, this even rips from the inexperienced socialization and referral opportunities because people just won't be close to their friends in places as much. Instead, being satisfied with a call and doing two completely separate things. It's a really bizarre concept and I'm a little worried that the time being spent on this, a feature that adds nothing to the platform, instead of advancing on the technical roadmaps promises before the end of the year. That is true, like Roblox is a weird company that will spend such a long time working on a feature that just nobody cares about. We've already got phone calls on like Discord and Instagram and Snapchat and all those types of platforms. Like we don't need them on Roblox as well. Like who the heck cares? Now, just before I finish the video, right, I wanted to come back to this tweet just quickly because Roblox took quite a big L here. They hid a ton of replies. Now these hidden replies, they were making me laugh quite a bit because Roblox is trying to avoid something here. Yeah, take a look at this. Now I can't really read most of these, but you can see what they're saying. Looks like Roblox is getting getting more predator players soon. That's the thing, I could just imagine some of the Roblox creeps absolutely loving this update. It's pretty concerning as well. I mean, if you think about it, all of the dodgy stuff on Roblox used to happen over apps like Discord and Snapchat and things because of how restricted Roblox was. But Roblox isn't that restricted anymore, so you could pretty much say anything to anyone over this. You would have to add them as a friend, so that's one thing. If somebody creepy tried to add you, you could always block them. But even so, I know some like weird incidents are gonna happen over this and it's pretty concerning. Concerning. Just like this guy said, he was like, you know, joking about Roblox. It's kind of like Roblox Amigo, and Amigo is a pretty dodgy website to start off with. Yeah, I really do wonder if there's going to be some lawsuits here. Like, this is not going to end well. This guy, Chill Bill, he said a multi billion dollar company that has moderation of the brains of cavemen adding a feature for sweaty 40 year old fat men to talk to minors. And that's one way to make bad decisions. Yeah. The thing is, though, you could say this about any platform, but we specifically know Roblox has like a really bad problem with the predators. So I really don't know what's going to happen. Hopefully nothing bad happens, fingers crossed. But I just want to say to you guys, please be careful. If you do decide to use this with your friends, make sure you know them. Don't add random people and then use this feature because who knows, you could end up meeting somebody very dodgy. Also, don't share your personal information like your surname or, you know, where you live. Most of you guys know that, you know, it's just common sense. But the thing is, kids have access to this, you know, it's 13 plus. I feel like Roblox should have made this 18 plus, but yeah, there you go. That's Roblox for you. They're not the smartest.